Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. It's been a while. We're updating it and everything. We're starting back. We're starting fresh. It is time for an F1 2017 uh, championship season mode again. We did one two years ago. Uh, that was the 2015. We were as the Williams as Massa. Uh, we came up short. I think we came third or fourth. I don't know. It's back there. It's been a while. We're here. Um, doing this to, you know, start off, you know, the new F1 2018 Formula One season, uh, which happened, uh, yesterday, or my time, Saturday night, um, Australia, fantastic race, um, so here we are just going through all the basic settings and what we're going to look like for the rest of the season, um, other than that, pretty straightforward, this is my first overlay video, so, uh, I'm brand new to this, so I'm going to see how this one fluctuates, um, and we're going to keep doing it throughout the whole season, hopefully. Uh, otherwise, you're going to hear my clicking if I do a live commentary, and I know you guys don't want to hear that, so I think the overlay is a little better, and my audio when I'm speaking probably won't go in sync together, because I could be mid-sentence when something's happening, but I don't know. So without further ado, it is time to start the Australian Grand Prix. Uh, without further ado, that, I'm going to have Crofty introduce you to the Formula One world. Welcome to Melbourne, where qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix should be getting underway shortly. And as we wait, poised for the start of what will hopefully be a thrilling qualifying, why don't you tell us, Anthony Davidson, about the things you can do to really get the most out of a car in a session like this? Well, you're largely limited by the Parc Ferme regulations, of course. Back in the old days, pre-2004, you'd work on both the qualifying setup and the race setup over practice, and then swap them over after qualifying. So the race car was quite different at times to... Alright, so without further that, we're not going to go through all the stuff. We're going to get right, right on into the action. Start off with the one shot qualifying mode. This is where it's one shot, no redos. Uh, one time around the track, it sets up the grid for the race. Uh, pretty shaky start there through sector one. Uh, trying to go into the late braking zone into turn three to pick up the pace. This wasn't my best run. I just hopped right into the game. And wasn't the best. Um, we're already P20 because we had a horrible start there on the front stretch there. Went into the grass. Um, just coming on through at the turn. Uh, P19. We're only better than the Saubers right now. This lap was just atrocious on my end. Um, it gets more worse um, at the end of the, the lap in Sector 3. We just went off. and uh, Overall wasn't just a good um, lap out of me. I kind of underperformed, but the race, um, hopefully we can make up for it in the race. Um, this was just not my best lap. I just hopped on. And here you're going to see right here where we go off. Car's pretty tight, and we're just in the grass, and we hit the wall there. And lose our front wing completely, so we have no downforce on the car. We can't go quicker. Um, and we're already P20, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, Lewis Hamilton, though, is going to set the standard of the race. He's going to be on pole position for tomorrow. We're going to come home P20, uh, not the best. We're going to try again and get ready for the race. So there's the, oh, I'm sorry, Kimi Raikkonen got the pole. What was I thinking? Our teammates on pole. Um, we're going to start P20th. Uh, there's the whole grid if you want to see where everyone's lined up. Um, but we got to we gotta pick up the pace. Hope not because we have the damage set on full, so we got to be a little more cautious. Um, otherwise, it's going to screw our race over, and we don't want that. So we have to be very careful. But without further ado, we're going to have Crofty again introduce you on race day now. We're here once again then for some more Grand Prix action, where success and failure are separated by fractions of a second, where victories are rescued from the jaws of defeat. 
It's here that history is made, and we're just about ready to make a little more. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria where the drivers have 16 corners and 3.3 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles an hour. The close proximity of the barriers makes accidents inevitable and recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. I for one can't wait to get started. And there's another very excited little chap here beside me as well. It's our very own Anthony Davidson. Great to see you again today. Thanks for that, Crofty. And I'm really anxious to get underway here. We've got all the makings of a great race today. World champions in competitive cars, lots of drivers on form, and I suspect a few strategists on the pit wall looking to try something a bit different and maybe jump their cars up the order. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Kimi Raikkonen. We're going to skip through the grid <clears throat> because we've already seen what the grid looks like. Um, so here we go, starting tail of the field. Um, got our normal uh, load going. Uh, one stop for the race, 15 laps. We're going to start on the ultra soft tires. We should have started on the super softs because we were uh, top 10 to stay on the ultra softs. But we're going to go on from the ultra softs to the super softs. Without further ado, let's get this race underway. Here we go. We're going to start off with the formation lap. Um, this basically is to get your tires and the car warmed up on a pre-lap before. And technically, they don't have it in the game, but this is where all the crew members are, as you saw right before we started. And that this gives them the chance to get off the track and behind the wall there, as you can see to our right. Um... That's what kind of the formation left for and to get the cars um, up to temperature and ready to race. So without further ado, it is time for the Australian Grand Prix. And here we go, one, two, three, four, and five red lights. It's time to bring the action. And it's lights out and away we go. We get a nice start there. Marcus Erickson gets a little slow off the start. And we're already up into P19 coming into the first turn. Gotta be very cautious. Can't take damage on the first lap. It's going to slow us down and ruin our race. Be fine. Go up the side there. Stoffel Van Dorn. Get the position up to P17 now. And we're going down the second DRS straight with gaining just a bunch of positions here up the inside. Make a little contact there with Carl Sainz, but nothing to worry. Up to P10 now as we watch Grosjean and Massa collide all the way through these turns and down the straight. We're going to go up the inside of both of them. Try to make it squeeze through wide. Pretty tight. We get the job done and we're up to PA. Let's have another look at that because that was something you never should do. It's three cars in one turn. We're going to have another look at that on Grosjean's point of view. Grosjean there. Farthest on the outside. Gets hit there by Massa. Doesn't wreck. No one wrecks. We just make it work and we move on with our day. And pretty good on both their ends. Later on in the race... Still on lap one, up to P8 now, just off the podium. That That's the goal, is podium based on starting P20th. Shoo, but we're potentially going for a win. We could do anything. We want to win that driver's championship. We didn't do it last time. We're going to make sure we win it this time. And there, the next victim up the road is Max Verstappen, part of Red Bull. And just going to have to hit our marks here and gain a lot of pace so here we go at the end now of lap one Lewis Hamilton with the fastest lap of the race I don't know if he's first or second I know he was second but we don't know if he overtook Kimi or not there we go up the inside of Verstappen very risky there we don't get the job done now we're side by side with Verstappen all the way down the DRS straight can we get him done up the inside we're definitely going to get him up the inside, and there we go, up to P7, and Verstappen now out of the way. And now the next car up the road is Esteban Ocon, part of Force India. And we get around him towards the end of the lap. Something wrong there with the, the little jump cut. But anyways, now on to P lap three, or sorry, lap four. Now trying to get up to P5, the double-digit points, and that is Sergio Perez. But we can definitely get around here as we DRS is now enabled. And we're going to go up the inside here. Following Perez. 
And there we go up the inside into turn number three. Meanwhile, Ricardo and Botas banging and bumping through turns three, four, and five. We might have a chance to go up the inside. We're going to go around the outside and make a little contact there with Ricardo. And we're going to go around the outside. Ricardo shuts us off as he doesn't get a good line. And we're going to stay in P5. And knock it around Ricardo. Here we come up to the next turn. Ricardo locks it up the right side. And we're going to get around him and up to P4 now. I don't know how he managed to lock up the right side when he should have been locking up the left side. Uh, I don't know. But anyways, we move now on to lap number five. Uh, I don't remember what happens here. Oh, I remember what happens here now. Um, we're just on for a merry day, and Pascal Verline should be out of the race soon. But we're just hitting our marks here. You know, and it should say right about now that Pascal is out of the race. There it is. Let's have a look why he is out of the race. He pulled the Sauber, the German driver, as he's now coming across the line. We're already into turn number four now. Just pulls off to the side there. Uh, it looks like an engine failure, and his race is now over. And we have 18 or 19 drivers left in the Grand Prix. And now we're going to move on to our pit stop stage. Now we're moving on to the super soft tires here on to lap number six, which will transition to lap seven. And here we go. Hopefully you have a nice pit stop here. Off at the old, on with the new. We got away from Perez, and we're getting held up. Nice cheeky little stop, but we get it done with, and we're on to lap seven now. Um... And now we just need to get these tires up to temperature to make them the best they can and finish out on these compounds. And nothing really happened much uh, for them the next five laps, but this one really disappointed me because we were looking so strong. Kimi Raikkonen's leading the whole race, and then my crew chief tells me he's having difficulties with his car. And that is not what I want to hear. We're sending a statement right now. We're looking to lead, go into uh, China with, uh, you know, the constructors under our belt and looking strong in the driver's standings. But there, Kimi Raikkonen then goes on to have a flat tire, and that is not what we want. Even though he's our teammate, um, that still sucks. But we're going to move up into P3, though. And get there, get the job done efficiently. And there we are, on to lap number 15. Jimmy Raikkonen still not in the pits yet. There he is. Lewis Hamilton is the winner of the Australian Grand Prix. And we, starting P20th, are going to come home and finish on the podium in the Australian Grand Prix. That was something else. I don't know how we finished P3, but we managed to anyways. So, without further ado, um, yeah, good race. Um, we're going to move on to China now. Um, as you see coming up at the end of this clip, um, you're going to see the driver standings and the constructor standings. And other than that, I'll see you guys in China. Peace out. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Antony, it's goodbye, and see you again next time.